Breaking news today, the first U.S. case of the Omicron COVID-19 variant has been found in California. The California and San Francisco Departments of Public Health have confirmed that a recent case was caused by the Omicron variant. The individual had just returned from South Africa last week. That person who was fully vaccinated and had mild symptoms is self-quarantining and has been since testing positive. San Francisco's health director just spoke at a news conference. This is not a surprise. For those of you who have been following this, we knew that Omicron was going to be here. We thought it, would, it was already here. Um, we just hadn't detected it yet. So this is cause for concern, but it is also certainly not a cause for us to panic. We are prepared here in the city for this. Well, air travelers are set to face tougher COVID-19 testing requirements because of the new Omicron variant. It will be part of President Biden's plan to make international travel as safe as possible. The proposal includes pre-departure testing closer to the time of flight, as well as post-arrival testing, regardless of vaccination status. Now, there could also be a self-quarantine requirement for seven days, even if you test negative. Well, as more countries report cases of the new variant, scientists here in the U.S. are working to understand this new strain and how contagious it may be. CBS News correspondent David Begno got an inside look in New York City. Health officials around the world are concerned about the new variant Omicron because it has a never before seen number of spike proteins which the virus uses to enter cells in the human body. There are labs around the U.S. that are testing to see where Omicron is going to pop up first. We're sequencing the COVID genome of uh, thousands of, of positive COVID samples. That we went to the pandemic cells, response lab so just outside New York City to meet John Laurent. He is head of research and development here. So, uh, the U.S. is sequencing 80,000 positive PCR tests every week to look for variants. That way, they can determine how fast the variants are spreading and how infectious they are. About 2,000 of those sequences occur right here. Our turnaround time here, once we get a sample in, is, is about three days. That may seem like a long time, but these scientists insist it is as fast as they can go. The samples are pooled together, sequenced, and analyzed to search for Omicron and other variants. Right now, the Delta variant makes up more than 99% of cases worldwide. How long did it take for Delta to become the majority of all COVID positive patients in New York City? Thinking back on that, I think it was probably six to eight weeks um, from the time we first sort of saw it and then really saw it take off. And it took off very quickly. That's pretty fast. Yes, it was, it was very fast. So is it your guess that once you detect Omicron, within, let's say, a month and a half to two months, it could be the majority of everything? It could definitely be. Scientists say over the next week or two, they're going to learn a lot more about how this new variant will impact the pandemic. David Begno, New York.